Also breaking stabbed in the neck in a high school hallway. The violent attack happened while classes got underway at East Leiden High School in Franklin Park. CBS 2's Tara Molina tracking the story from the hospital. The young man was rushed to and Tara, you just got an update on how he's doing. Right, Erica, we are told that he was rushed here to Loyola Medical Center. He went right into surgery. He's out now and we are told he is expected to recover. Police surrounding East Leiden High School. It's scary. Parents eagerly waiting to take their kids home. I mean, how, how much can you actually prevent this? This is what it looked like outside the school late this morning. Students released early after being locked down for hours with school officials waiting on police clearance after a stabbing in the second floor hallway. Police tell us two boys got into a fight just after 930. That's when police say one student stabbed another in the neck with a small knife. Police say the school resource officer was on it immediately, treating the student who was cut and responding officers immediately found the student with the knife. He was taken into custody inside the school. Well, this is very difficult. We're just uh, happy to have the partnership with the police. They were here instantly and taking care of the situation. Franklin Park's police chief says they're in the process of going through video right now. He wouldn't say if it's surveillance from inside the school. He told me he has no reason to believe this is gang related, despite social media reports. However, one clue from the victim's brother. He told us the attacker may have warned about the stabbing in a social media post. Still, parents remain uneasy. Like, I don't know how I feel safe to bring my son back to school. Now, we aren't sharing names yet today. Police tell us that the student behind the stabbing is in custody, but he will not be charged until they wrap up their investigation. Again, both of the students involved in this underage, and we are told that the young man who was rushed here is out of surgery, and he is expected to recover. Reporting outside Loyola Medical Center, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Eric